and welcome Twitch and YouTube to Frostpunk 2. We're gonna pick up from where we left off last time uh, in Utopia Builder on Captain Difficulty. So in the end of the last episode, we just about got the bad tension and trust events to go away. So city has restabilized after the last whiteout. So now it is time to prepare for the next one. Uh, I don't know why it started in a unpaused state. Okay, so we've got a faction starting already already in a protest. So obviously we'll need to deal with that at some point. Uh, one thing we've been kind of dealing with at the beginning of the, at the end of the last one is that we have a lot of sick workers. That is reducing our capacity to actually fill all our jobs. Okay, so we're not no white out immediately on the radar coming up. Um, one thing I should probably research ASAP. I've thought of since the last one is we have a generator upgrade one. We should get generator upgrade two, so that we can select um, steam as the preferred heat type, so that we can run the generator primarily off of steam when we're not in the storm. Because we are currently are we currently using steam? No, we're burning coal. Why are we burning coal and not not using steam? Well, because we have a worker shortage. Okay. Um, that's not ideal. We have explorers. So let's get these explorers out doing stuff. Um, are you getting food already? Yes. Oh, we're getting so our minerals city and our oil city here are close to running out. That's what we're getting warnings about. Offering the two food cities. The place where we get cores from. Cores from. We need to set roads up for those. We set roads up for these coal mining complexes. Turn into permanent sources of coal. Permanent source of uh, materials down here. So ideally, we probably want to get this set up before that one runs out in 31 weeks. Of course, that requires heat stamps. Okay, so we got a heat stamps problem. Or let me know if something's in that direction. Of course, the tooltip is not wanting to tell me what it thinks is in that direction. Just that. We, we know there's some resource out in the direction from an earlier location. Maybe not the best for screwing back up the game. Okay, so we need more food, which we, we don't need... Well, maybe we could use, because we've got a problem of all our food deposits turned off. We're almost turned off. Allow us to turn it off the rest of the way if we wanted to do that. Okay, so obviously I need heat stamps, but that's time. We've got council and recess. I've got three different things to build. They're buildings, right? Yeah, so when those districts are finished disassembling, we can try to build the pleasure commons to clear that quest. We build a salvaging factory to clear that quest. Um, and then it wants us to build a dense housing building. Okay, let, let's take some time, because obviously I need heat stamps. My, my current solutions right now uh, for problems is I need the heat stamps to build the solutions. So we've got a place here where we can get more petrol. I think two places, are right? two districts ready to go. Yeah, we can build a district there, we can build a district here to get more petrol. 
Um, as far as this is concerned, after the petrol, there's more materials that we can get, and there's another uh, way station point we can get. In the material city, we have a similar sort of situation. Another way station, um, got some dense sources of materials that we can set up in the case of the iron vine. We actually have some coal here, and we've got some gas here. Some steam here. So right now we're importing oil to run the city. If we were to do an expansion, we could probably get over here and start import or start generating our own coal here, so we don't need to ship the oil in. But I think for the moment, yeah, we need to we need to let this finish building. We got stuff building here. We got stuff we want to build here. Though here's probably going to run into the problem of right now we only got a normal roadway. Um, which would be fairly easy if we, we set our minds to it, to saturating, uh, with just those basic, uh, oil wells going. The laborers and the technocrats are annoyed. Trust falling due to the ongoing protest. Workers are slowly recovering from their sickness as time goes on. We finished disassembling. No. Uh, I do have enough to build that salvaging factory, so let's build that salvaging factory while I'm thinking about it. Oh no, that's 180 heat stamps. We got 180 workers, not 180 heat stamps. Two different things. So we've got heat stamps. How do we want to do this? Heat stamps, pleasure commons first. So the pleasure commons would, in theory, make the technocrats happy. If we get them happy enough, they'll stop protesting, hopefully. There's 400 workforce, which should be easy enough to temporarily acquire. Uh, do we want the exploration? No, I need to get those exploration teams exploring. Uh, well, let's not leave them. Actually, we've got an indicator on the map. Go explore the indicator. Um, and then that food. Take more people in. Uh, take the one off food supply. If I'm five uh, teams. Then why we got that going? Uh, we're about to get a big influx of food, so that probably actually means this is a good time to turn you down. I'll have to turn something else down as well. Off, you're off. I think you're off. You're off. Well, I guess it's gonna have to be housing. Housing or steam. Yeah, looks like it has to be housing. Um, let's turn down the housing in that district. Yeah. And then we want to set up that pleasure commons. Only one place to do it, which is that district, so I'll build that. That'll hopefully make them happy and make them stop protesting. Protesters, if the protesters stop protesting, then it'll be another 400 workers, which allows us to build other things. Materials colony, see how they're going. Okay, so they're gonna need more heat uh, because we build them their housing. But otherwise, and and they're probably gonna need some more trade good or more goods. Okay, so we can come in here. We can go material shipment. Not too worried about crime in the capital, so we'll ship the goods to the colony. Keep the colony happy and ship petrol to the colony to keep the colony warm. Okay, 
So that's the colony dealt with. Let's go over to the... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go to the other colony. See what its state is. So it's got a housing shortage, but the housing shortage is not causing a problem. It does have a food problem, which is, in theory, diminishing. So we can try shipping it more food. Give it more food. Keep its food problem getting worse. Let's ship it more goods. This will make the crime problem and the goods problem a little bit more complicated in the capital, but we can partially solve that by making that solving factory we promised. Uh, we do have a workforce here to do it. Let's go ahead and get the extraction facility up on the oil. And the other oil. Did we not quite... It's the next time. Of course it's the next time. Okay, well let's get that frost breaking going so that we can do it in a bit. Right, and once that's done in... I forget how long it takes to build those buildings. Uh, it's not going to tell me. All right. Well, when that's done, we can ship more oil to the capital to keep the capital warm. The next thing I should save up for is uh, the generator change building. We have 36 weeks for both of those. Okay. Expeditions, get the expedition going faster. Okay, relations to technocrats improve. Protests begin collapsing. Industrial, so salvaging. I didn't save it to 188 stamps for that. I think it's um, 100 for generator upgrade. Yeah, it's 100 for the generator upgrade. And then 200 more to build it. Uh, to get these guys to calm down, I'm gonna go ahead and let's check to see what are, what are your promises. Abolish management? Uh, no. Mandatory crowding? I could be convinced to do that. I'll do maintenance. Well, I want to research something else. I could try to... I could promise to pass mandatory crediting. Um, Yeah, let's promise to pass mandatory crediting. I don't suppose you... Uh, no, that was the laborers. Okay, so that's not what they're gonna... If I give them uh, the agenda, they're not gonna try passing that themselves. So I'll have to bring it up to a vote when it comes time. people, more sick people return to work. Um, we should keep people working, if I can. Funds, you're gonna provide me the funds, sorry. Okay, let's get that generator upgrade being developed. I'm gonna try to hold on to 200 funds so that we can get. Our. Uh, 
generator upgrade online. So now we're down to mineral shortage, which is going to run out pretty quickly, so I do need to get an extraction district running. That's what these are down here, right? Yes. Okay, one, one tier is enough. Let me try to get the... You running better, yes. More and more people are available to work, we're able to solve more and more problems. Oh, the exploration team did come back, so I have five explorers with which to do stuff. Um, do I have the potential? Easy potential. Well, kind of. I need to go build that dense housing block anyway, so... Um, I have some housing space, and the laborers aren't completely pissed anymore, so we've got a choice of two different groups of people I can bring in. 140 unlined or 160 laborers. Let's go ahead and bring in the laborers. Well, basically, I'm going to try to bulk up the population a little bit as a way to give us more workforce temporarily. To reach the next vote. Um, I don't think I'll have the... Oh, then I need to figure out how many more workers. Uh, where can I borrow workers from temporarily? Let's see if I can borrow 400 workers. That's more than 400 workers. Oh, yeah. Do the salvage factory. Okay. As soon as that's done, it's done building, we can... Oh, we'll get more workers in the protest doing, okay. So, uh, actually, let's have a food problem more than have a materials problem, please. Or you can solve all problems, that works. Um, why do we have a master people problem? Because as we turn everything back on, everything is requiring more and more heat. Yes, of course. Um, you have you at least have more heat to ship, so ship some heat. Okay. Um Materials plenty only has anything to ship back. I can ship some food. That's not really worth the effort. Okay, so we've got a fuel shortage. I need to solve the fuel shortage. That's probably best done by letting food become a problem again. And you are running. Turn you on. It's for the heat, yes. Steam there. There, there. Okay, where do I. How do I want my problems to be? The answer is we probably want to be more industrial problem centric right now. Set shift to labor is trying to solve the heat problem. Okay, so that's all the same heat. Let's put more workers on there. Heat's mostly solved. Where are you? You're 200, 800, and 80. So turning you on. Actually helps fix the heat problem. Oh, I 
suppose in the oil city, we now have... I wanted to save these heat stamps for building the generator upgrade, but we don't even have enough heat to uh, keep the city heated. Uh, I don't think the generator upgrade is going to necessarily by itself solve that problem. Let's end both those and build both those districts. That'll give us more fuel, more fuel that can be shipped back to the city. Cold's gonna start becoming a problem again. If that's a problem, our sick might start going up again. Back going up again. Which isn't super great. More people cured. More people returning to work. Okay, so now we can turn the heat back up even more. You're running full speed, you're running full speed. Um, the coal mine is probably a better source of heat then the steam turn both on a bit, apparently. just arrived, so we can use those people to start trying to solve some of our problems. Coal on. District on to provide as much housing as possible. Uh, get us a Oh, no, we're starting to run low on people already, so let's try to fall. Nope, that's not a solution. That's about all this that's gonna go. Uh, so we theory just got our scout team back. So we send the scout team out to go get the next bunch of people. Uh, it's gonna make the housing situation a problem again, but we are needing to fix that situation anyway. Election time. It is now election time. So, city, housing queues, mandatory crowding. So this will raise tensions, but I think we can force this through. Won't negotiate, won't negotiate, and open to negotiate. We can tolerate a little bit of a tension increase for solving the housing problem again, temporarily. Mandatory the proposed mandatory. law has been approved. Okay, so that's going to save us some potential housing temporarily. Ahead and use that to free up some workers by turning you down. Fuel is positive. Let's try um, turn you up one level. Okay. This materials positive. Food positive. Fuel positive. Materials positive. The rest of the workers, can we get them into a factory? Uh, no. About 100 something workers, so we should be able to ship them somewhere. Potentially productive. We should be down here. Um, at this rate, it'll be 68 weeks, which is fairly long. But if we get more workers, we can pack that up and then close that district up to get the heat stamps and materials back from it. 
Let's check in on the fuel colony. Did that fuel supply complete? Not yet. Nope, everyone's unhappy. Why is everyone happy? Slightly decreased by sick. Okay, so everyone's not happy with a little sickness in the city. Which is growing. Mainly increased by the dense housing blocks. Okay. I need to deal with the sickness. Let's go ahead and play it, push that button. It's gonna make everyone less happy, but that's gonna give us more workforce. off. Get away with turning one of them off. Okay. Need 100 heat stamps and 50 workforce. 50 workforce is not that hard. Okay. Um, not a heat stamps won't be that hard either. Wait until we have 100 heat stamps before I dissolve that. Go to the fuel colony, we can ship in petrol the moment this is done. Well, one of those is done. So we can set ships in petrol. Turn ship back some materials to make sure that we don't get any squalor problems here from shortage of materials. City's fine. Yeah, if anything, this city's over overly fine. Oh, this city will need a little bit of heat. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can solve a little bit of that by turning the housing down a bit. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. So now we can send a little bit of your oil back. You don't need quite that much. At least until the storm arrives. And then we go to the city itself. Which has a shortage again. Of all the futs and about we've done. Turn up the coal mine? You can't turn up the coal mine. That helps a little bit with the coal. I think I'm just going to tolerate the coal for the moment. Try to get this packed up. Build that dense housing block to complete the quest. That was the, the population. We need 100 heat stamps. You've got more capacity to ship petrol back in exchange for materials. Let's 
Alright, with this, the city will, for the moment, be warm. Quest. Okay, so I... It says build one dense heating mine. I think memory serves it was probably actually supposed to be like one of those places, but what we do is we build... We'll build it there and we'll see if that works. If that does, then that'll complete that quest. We'll start saving up to complete the other quest. Um, and then I gotta start saving up for that generator upgrade, which I think will help allow us to free more workers to hopefully deal with our goods shortage. Please limit your stay at the Pleasure Commons to one hour. Others are waiting their turn. Well, that's a bit ominous. Uh, so looking, looking at the time, this is where we're going to go ahead and put the cut in for YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you're enjoying it. There'll be another part up tomorrow. Uh, catch you in the next one.